right, hopefully you can see me well. We are in the back of my van. Um, finally got the Taleria Sting. Ah! So uh, this is gonna be an unboxing. Uh, I figured it'd be the best, just do it back here. It's gonna be kind of hard to get it off, I already tried. So uh, let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Uh, one thing I did notice is the front rim or the rear rim is like low. As you can probably see, oh, but uh, it's a little low. And on the other side, it looks like they punched through with a um, forklift and hit the rim. So it only looks like it's scratched. It didn't look like it was damaged completely. So we'll have to see, but pretty sure this is gonna be, got my trusty uh, kitchen knife. Yeah, I figured this is gonna be the front rim. Cool. Uh, not really any air, just like the rear. Ooh. Okay, this must be the charger. Looks very comparable to the stock charger on a shirt on it. Oh, I hate RST forks. They're the worst in the world. Okay. Oh my goodness, it came off. Oh, I stripped a pair of these for the first time. And I'll tell you what, it is not fun. I got free straps, that's pretty cool. I will actually use these. That's awesome. Pretty straightforward though. It wasn't that difficult to uh, get everything off. So. What is this? Front fender? So it comes with zip ties and a front fender. It's like the Fox 40 fender. They're pretty horrible. I have my old fender off my Chiron. I'm gonna put on, so. So pegs, they're a little bit more beefier than the stock Chiron ones. Wow. Uh, this is to put the handlebars on and then the keys. Plate. And oh cool, it comes with a tool bag. So it comes with a bunch of Allens and then a 15 millimeter. Interesting to note, no peg brace. Seriously? So the styling's a little bit different for this. And uh, for some reason, that makes it to where you can't put it in the first hole. Uh, the nut for this, the washer part, comes in contact with this top piece right here. It's impossible to get this on, it won't work. So it's either the back slot or the middle slot. That, that's not how that they goes on. <laughs> there we go. And I'm gonna use the 15 that they gave me in the kit. Yeah, I found my knife. Ha ha! After the fact. If you're ever confused on what side the peg goes on, um, with the bike facing forward, you always want the peg to come upwards uh, towards the back. So that, so that if you do come in contact with something, right, it pushes right here, it's always gonna wanna go back. You don't want it to where it pushes forward. It's always gonna wanna do back. Make sure you route your wires how you want them. I'm gonna put the other peg on real quick um, since I got the bike all right here. So there's no bracket on that side. And I didn't see one in the kit. Huh. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna go through every single box again, but uh, it's not in here. How this little rig setup I got going on. This is awesome. Just enough to where there's clearance to where I can get the front tire on. So let's go ahead and get that on.
<laughs> it worked out perfect. Okay, um, so once you get uh, this uh, bolt in, it's very, very important on the other side that you put uh, anti-seize. Uh, so put anti-seize on this uh, nut or you're gonna strip your setup. I've already done it once before. So you don't need a crazy amount, but a decent amount. Okay. And uh, I must have got one of the unlucky batches because there is no side uh, mount for the pegs and I'm missing two bolts. So I got an incomplete uh, <laughs> Taleria. Sweet. <laughs> I'm still gonna ride it. You ain't stopping me from riding it. Uh, so yeah, I gotta get the front fender on. But uh, basically that's it. I gotta put air in the tires. Uh, there's no air, they're flat. Uh, get the brakes adjusted and uh, I'll be back. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so this is the bike completed and ready to ride. We're gonna go out on a quick ride before it gets too dark. Uh, this side, like I was saying earlier, uh, they did not send me the bracket and the bolts for that, so there's no way that I can put a right side uh, foot peg on, which sucks, but uh, you know, I'll get it taken care of, I'll get one. I haven't touched any of the suspension settings. Um, I did, however, do the delete uh, for the brake sensors, so that's the only thing I did do that I've removed is the brake sensors, and then this is, of course, the front fender that I had off my... Uh, Segway, and then I had it on my Chiron, so um, now it's going on to my Taleria. So <laughs> it's funny, I never noticed, but uh, I've had this fender ever since I had my first uh, Segway X260, so it's it's a part that's carried over all these uh, bikes. <laughs> Unless the bolt was marked, see how like this one is marked with uh, like color? Every other bolt, every other single bolt uh, was loose. Uh, the stem was so loose, the bike just turned, that I put the handlebars on, I went to unload it, and it just, the whole wheel just turned sideways. Uh, so, filled up with air, seems to be holding air. Um, but yeah, the styling of the bike, it is so nice. I really like the way this one looks. So I'm going to grab my helmet, put the GoPro on that, and we're going to try to get it to go. Uh, it didn't come with any instructions on how to make it go. I've watched literally no videos on the Taleria because I didn't want to steal anyone's idea or ideas or uh, you know I just wanted to know like what would happen if you bought it and you had no idea how to put it together so pretty sure there's a fuse breaker inside just like the Chiron so I will uh, get this on my helmet and we'll figure this out together on how to make it go <laughs> all right okay so basically we're ready to go um, I've never seen this before, but I got four of these bands on here and it's it's still turned So I'm just gonna get new grips. These are like the worst grips I've ever seen oh, Okay, um, let's go ahead and get this open I think you want to go Yeah So red is on so it was off. Okay, so key in the on position all right, cool, that started up. 41% battery, it says wait. I wonder if that means I gotta hit start. So I'm gonna hit start. And no, it still says wait. Maybe because the kickstand's down? Okay, it was because the kickstand was down. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit start. And it says ready. Whoa, whoa, it definitely has good torque. Wow, very quiet. Very quiet. Wow. So what you're going to do is just get on the brakes. Don't come to a complete stop. And we're going to do that a couple times. And you can, you can feel it starting to get better and better. Front. I, I would ride around a little bit. Um, you're going to get it so hot that it'll, it'll burn it in. You don't want to burn it in either. Oh man, this, <laughs> this really sucks. I mean, I'm very grateful to have the bike, but... At this point, it's kind of unrideable. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> yeah. 
Oh, it's very touchy though, the throttle. Very sensitive. Headlight appears to be exactly the same that's on the Chiron. Uh, the frame and the swing arm are an inch wider. The styling of the frame is definitely a lot better. Uh, it's got upgraded brakes. The screen is really cool. This is super nice. I mean, it's so much about it just makes it better. Don't get me wrong, Chiron's are great. But this is basically a cheaper Chiron. <laughs> this is basically a cheaper Chiron uh, with a bypass battery. And you get more range. Oh yeah, the initial hit is so much more powerful. I can definitely tell the difference. Boy, I'm already in love. Gonna contact Great Shift and order some parts. Because of course it ain't staying stock. The brakes are probably good enough for now. Have to see how it goes. I don't know, I always end up changing everything. <laughs> Nothing can ever stay stock. But as far as power goes, I'd say it's more than enough. And I'm gonna go try some areas that uh, I haven't been able to hit yet. All right. Yeah, that, that, that hit. Woo. That initial uh, little blip, uh, it's not a, uh, it's not smooth. I will say that right now though. It is a, uh, 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 it's jerky. It's beef jerky, man. But yeah, I appreciate you guys sticking around for the whole video. Still gonna go have fun with it. And, uh, We'll see you in the next video. We'll go ahead and put this thing through its paces. Oh, uh, it took a month and a half to get here, so you know I need to put this on the charger and I'm gonna leave it all night long. All night long. Uh, so that it uh, can balance the cells and everything. So, yeah, uh, I'm stoked. No matter what, I'm stoked. So, all right, see you in the next one. I don't know what I was thinking. This is a brand new bike. We gotta burn the tire. Yeah. <laughs> Taleria Sting.